What's happening? Today I'm going to show you how to take your hi-hats from this to this. The two things I'm going to be touching base on is primarily to do with the velocity of the hi-hats, but we're also going to discuss a little bit about the groove. So the groove and velocity are two of the most important elements of tweaking digital drums in a way to try and get them to sound as close to a human or an actual drummer as possible. Now I know I'm demonstrating these techniques within FL Studio, but any of the good big DOWs will have the tools I'm going to be using today. And as long as you've got um, a, MIDI, a MIDI editor, which again, every DAW will have, you'll be able to manually go in there and make any adjustments yourself. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna cover is the velocity. First pattern here is literally just a hi-hat on every first and third beat, which sounds again like this. So the first thing you can do in FL Studio is if you hold Alt and R, so that's ALT plus R, make sure you've got the channel highlighted, you'll get this randomization window. So what you can do from here is you can randomize the velocity, um, you can randomize the, the pitch, uh, the frequency cutoff, uh, and a few other parameters in the pan in, but I'm just gonna talk about the velocity for now. So you can see here that it's automatically adjusted the velocity of each of the hi-hats I've programmed in. If you're not happy with what FL Studio has randomized, you can just click seed here and it automatically changes it to another pattern. So once you get to the one you want, uh, you press accept. One important thing to note is untick the bipolar because if you tick bipolar, for some reason it makes everything much higher. So take that off, click accept, send to the piano roll, and as you can see, all the velocities here have been adjusted accordingly. So if I solo that, it sounds like this. In some situations, you may get a few odd bod hi-hats, shall we say. There might be, say, up here, but you can just go in and manually adjust them and just bring them down to make them, you know, as even as you like them to be. It's going to depend on the style of song that you're making as to to how how light or how loose you want the hi-hats to be. But if you're, if you're making, you know, some standard hip-hop music or boom-bap or even trap, if you want to humanize the hi-hats, this is the best way of doing it without using any third-party plugins. The second piece I'm going to be covering very briefly is the groove. The groove is a bit more tedious to do manually because you have to go in and adjust each of the MIDI notes individually. One thing I commonly do is for every snare hit, depending on the skill of the drummer, it's it's likely or unlikely that they're going to hit the hi-hat exactly on beat. So if they've got to hit a snare and a hi-hat at the exact same time, you may get instances where the hi-hat is hit sooner than it would be usually or later so if you go into your midi editor say for argument's sake the snare fell on the two and the four which is here and here you can see i've just adjusted the hi-hat here so i've moved it over a bit if you've quantized your beat and you've got the snare hitting directly on the two the hi-hat will hit very slightly afterwards um, and then in, on the fourth beat i've actually brought this this one forward just a smidge so we've got this as opposed to this it's quite a subtle change but it can make quite a big difference to how your drums end up sounding um, after you've mixed and mastered the beat uh, these two techniques for me are the, are the quick and easiest way of humanizing the hi-hats this also applies to other drum hits whether it be the snare whether it be some percussion instruments like conga drums or shakers. So it, it can apply to other in instruments as well. Alternatively, more so on the groove side of things, uh, within particular drum machines, you know, Battery 4, Geist, Machine, even FL Studio's own FPC, they will ship with some preset groove MIDI files that you can drag onto the piano roll and adjust from there. But I find that depending on the style of song you want to make, even though it is a bit tedious, I actually prefer to manually edit my notes myself. I mean, I know this is only a single bar, but if you're keeping the hi-hats the same, you can just copy and paste them across. You've only really got to do it for a short number of hi-hats. And if you decide, you know, that you want to randomize 
Second pattern, you can just copy and paste it onto a separate window to make it different from the first bar. You can just highlight it from here. Just take that off. Highlight from here, Control R, sorry, Alt R. And again, it only affects those notes that are highlighted. So you can adjust them as much as you like. And there we go. I hope that helped. Uh, stay tuned for more future videos in this series and all the other series that I'm pumping out on my YouTube channel at the moment. Thanks for watching.